We are in. Now, I am going to have to go well, hello, because friends. I have to do here my with post game Cowboy with Adrian for Bitter Birds. Always but thank you guys for watching, I'm commenting, and subscribing it, so to I need the Joe Boost Sports Report. Without you guys, um, this literally you does not work. Thank we are already so open for business. It seemed like blast. nothing closed so today. So and we're actually we watching Philly 500 right now. Dude is talking about the Super Bowl again. And I got to tell you, they're kind of dangerous. Is Nick Foles? How bad is Nick Foles? I mean, Look like, for a uh, Nick Foles went to the locker room. The Eagles are winning, tomorrow. and the um, we'll see. But thank you guys. Yeah, his, his hair is filling back in. The right um, Minnesota Vikings thank have looked everybody. like they failed. Thank you everybody, um, everybody talked about Kirk Cousins and his stats day. and his numbers, and he's a stats guy. He's a guy that gets a lot of touchdowns and everything else, lots of yards and stuff. But when it counts, I hate to tell you, he's not all that you can think that he is. He really is not. And that's where I try to point out to a lot of you guys who can't stand Dak Prescott is, you know what, Dak Prescott doesn't give up games at the end of it. Now, I'm going to talk about this later. Right now, my daughter's here for the last night before she goes back home, and um, we're getting ready to go out and get something to eat and stuff. But I'm going to talk about this more later. But there's so many of you guys out there that can't stand Dak Prescott, and it's funny to me because my number's been dropping lately because the trolls have been showing up less and less, and I'm okay with that because it seems like every time you guys say there's something that Dak Prescott can't do, he does it. You know, you say that Zeke Elliott, oh, the Cowboys won't win because of Zeke Elliott. Well, he didn't play today. Oh, Cowboys can't win in a shootout. Well, you know what? Dak had four touchdown passes today and over 300-some yards which means that's two games this season. He had one over 400, and this one in four touchdown passes. Now, I'm curious to hear what the people who say Dak sucks, Dak can't read defenses, Dak can't hit people. I'm curious to see what you guys have to say now. So, Philly 500 and Eagles Nations, congratulations from rising from the ashes, much like we did, because let's face it, guys, we had to go 7-1 and one to win the division. 10 and 6. Our season could have been done nine weeks ago, but we rose up. And the same thing can be said about the Eagles. And <laughs> the interesting thing is going to be the conversation with the Eagles because Nick Foles seems to be the gamer and Carson Wentz seems to be that stats guy. It's going to get ugly in Philadelphia. You just watch. But with that being said, I've got to get ready to run up out of here, but that's a way to finish off the regular season. That's a way, hopefully, to have some momentum and be ready to play. I'm hoping that we get to victory. I'm hoping that we have finally changed our team's mojo. Shout out to all of you who joined in to our live stream. We had a ball here uh, with E2 Blue. And it, it, check this out. The party doesn't end yet because E2 Blue and DMV Dallas Cowboys, they're outside right now doing a live stream um, at the fire pit. So they're having a fireside chat, and I'm actually enjoying that. Uh, my son is over editing a video for his channel and things, getting a... Uh, okay, he, he's doing some stuff. My daughter's doing some stuff. And it's a great thing to see people working hard, working at their dreams and stuff. And hopefully... Maybe our dream of getting back to the Super Bowl will come true for us this year. I'm Mark Holmes with Cowboy Joe Boo, and I'll see you guys soon.